Oh, I absolutely love this person. It's Suk Orjla on the Tommy Sandu podcast and all wrapped up. Here's a little little bite-sized section of really the full podcast that we spoke about. If you want to listen to all of Suk Orjla, you can always just flick back and find her in the um, uh, in, in, in your streaming platform, however it is that you're listening. But Suk is a stand-up comedian, as you know, and she's also an author. She's got a book out and she's excited about it. I'm excited for her as my friend. Um, so the book's on pre-order, by the way, right now. It's called Sunny. Pretty much about the story of her sort of life, really conflicting, growing up in, you know, conflicting cultures of a house, Eastern culture, Western culture, um, but done through the Sukhojla lens. So obviously funny, but very poignant as well. Because Suk is true. If there's one thing, I'd, one way I'd describe her, she's honest and she's true to herself, to her feelings. She talks very openly on stage in her comedy about mental health and anxiety and suffering from those things. And it takes a very skilled comic to make those topics funny. But Sook does it just brilliantly. If you haven't seen Life Sooks, which is her tour, which is still touring all around the country, go and check it out. Uh, but here she is talking to me about the book, about her kind of mental well-being and the fact that she's in a good place right now. It's the brilliant and proud, I'm proud to say, my friend, Sook Orjla, on the Tommy Sandu podcast, all wrapped up. Oh, Suki! Hello! <laughs> oh, hello. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. That's all right. I just realised, um, I told yeah. my mum that I it was a meeting, right, because she's not going to understand what a podcast is, and then we're going to be chatting, and she's going to be like, what kind of meeting is this? <laughs> no, no. What will she actually say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically, you know, it is still a meeting. It's us coming together. Oh, by the way, wh- why are you looking so tanned? Like you, like you've been I away. No, this is this is the filter. Or there must be some sort of inbuilt filter on this. I don't look this tanned normally. I've not been away since 2019, like most other but- people. Okay, so you've just been at home. But I've, you look like you, like, I thought, oh, she's been, I, she's been writing, like, oh, yeah, I've got a place in Costa del Sol, in our babes? <laughs> got a place down there, I'll go down there to write, write my book. Uh, no, are, are, are you done on all that? Are you done on all that, by the way? Is that all, is that? All done, handed it in a couple of weeks ago, but get this, Tom, you know how we joke about our parents' immigrant work ethic? Yep. Handed it in. I mean, this was an accidental uh, thing, but I handed it in, Totally forgot that about three months before that, I'd panicked and gone, what am I going to do after my book is handed in? Why don't I take a, a writing course so I can like keep my writing skill sharp? And it right. just so happened that I handed in my book at four, went to bed, had a stress nap, because obviously the, the, the euphoria of handing in a piece of work only lasts about 40 to 50 seconds for me. Right. And then it's then it's the fear, right? Then it's like, oh, this is going out in the world. Other people are going to read it. What's my thought I'm going to say? Um, and then I fell asleep, woke up to a notification. I mean, your, your writing course starts in 15 minutes. Let's just tell everyone properly for the record, the book is called Sunny. It is available on pre-order right now. But, um, but you haven't said too much about it. And I don't need to go. We don't need to go into what the story. Do you yeah. save all that? Are you told like like a film script, like like the James Bond movie? Is it like... Keep all that. Don't tell anyone. You know. No, no, not not at all. Because um, when you go online, you can kind of read the blurb. You can read like a description of it. So I can tell you what's on on the description. Do you know? Or you can you just know, go read it for yourself. You know, Gulshan Grover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the actor. I'm a bad man. He was yeah. supposed to be in one of the James Bonds, but he blew it because he started telling people, and the word got out, and they went, "We're dropping you, mate." And he's told that no. story himself. No, Isn't I that the most nasty like, thing you've heard? Yeah, he's like, he's like, but Gulchin Grover, you could have been in James Bond, but you couldn't keep your blooming booty shut, could you? Yeah. You had to go around. Here. So I've just wondered whether they were like, look, this is the book, and the, you know, the the power of the book lies in not telling people too much and all that. I don't know. Like, do they? They tell because authors no. are always very cryptic. Yeah, I think I think also they're used to authors who kind of go away and they have like a whole writing process and they're very precious about it. Or they're not used to someone who talks for a living to write a book. <laughs> So when they're like, do you want to talk about the book on this, on this, at this event? I'm like, yeah, all right. And they're like, oh, we don't have to twist your arm. I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm a professional show off. Like, I, just, I didn't yeah. get enough attention in my childhood. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I would talk about myself. Um, and, and I'm only because I love you and I'm just a fan. Is it acting? Is it writing? Is it something completely different? It's acting and writing. Oh, brilliant. That's, then that is, that's brilliant. 
Look at the grin. You know, some people kind of, and this is the thing with Punjabi people. I think it's Desi people in general. You can't, we can't hide emotions. There's no, no there's no game playing with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Um, our friendship is based on us going blah, 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 and just shouting things at each other. And and so this say, is what I want the best to e- The best example of that was, I think we hadn't seen each other in well, at least six months. It must have been longer. And right. we did that show, the outdoors show. <laughs> yeah, in Watford. And, some, we, yeah. and we literally, and this is what I love about our friendship, because there's very few people I can do this with. You turn up, there's no small talk. There's like, this is what is going on with me. And you go, and this is what's going on with me. And we go, okay, Jungle, bye. (laughs) It's like, yeah. And I don't even want to get into whatever the details of the conversation are, but it's it's, it's just straight in. But I'm with you. There are only a handful of people in your life. I've got maybe one mate from uni, one mate cousin. That's probably it. And yeah, just that you can just, you can just pick up. But you're like that. I don't think you want to do small talk. You don't want no. to go, yeah, you want to go straight in with, like, I don't know. If I'm just... doing small talk with you, it means I don't like you. <laughs> oh. If I'm, you if I'm doing the whole, oh, <laughs> that's, that's not I you. I don't like you. Do you want all this? Is it nice? Do you know what? Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually, I realised the other day, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And that's n- nothing to do with what's going on. And the older I get, the more I realise my happiness doesn't depend on the external. Because I've had times where I've gone up for amazing auditions or had amazing meetings, but inside I just don't feel it, inside I don't feel good enough or whatever. And I've now finally got to the point where, you know, work. You know this, we've had these conversations in pri- privately in the past where I've worked so hard on myself, I've done the therapy, I've done the, you know, I've kind of really um, worked on my mental health as well and my spiritual and emotional well-being as well. And I've kind of really gone, right, you need to look at, like, for example, I'm terrible at the whole work-life balance. I'm awful. You know, it's it's not a work-life balance. It's a work-work balance. Like, you know, there is no work. And now, can't I'm say no. going, now I'm finally going, okay, have a social life. Okay, have you seen your friends? Have you connected with other people? Maybe date a little bit. You know, there's there's kind I'm I'm kind of pushing myself to do that because it's really easy, Tom, especially when you're freelance, as you know, and in this industry, it's really easy to go, no, 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 I don't have time, I don't have time. No, I've got this data, no, I should do that, I should do that. And now I've just gone, actually, no, that doesn't serve you because you can there's never gonna be a good time to do that because there's always gonna be something else to do. There's always gonna be something else to focus on. And I found that the reason I was uh, you know fairly unhappy a few months ago was because I was just not in balance. You know, I was just work, 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 and then no time to enjoy it and no one to enjoy it with. I heard, genuinely, this is just as a fact, I heard that if you hit subscribe to this podcast now, if you have subscribed on Apple or on Spotify or on GeoSavan or wherever you are listening right now, if you are subscribing and getting that on a regular, which means you get the little notification when the new episode comes out, fact, this is a fact, don't tell no one else's, if you hit subscribe, you can eat as many jalebis as you want and you will never put on weight. I don't, I know, I don't understand the logic. It makes no sense to me. I mean, how's a podcast relate to the DNA way in which your body breaks down jalebi sugar stuff running through your... I don't understand, but what I do know, it's a little cheat to life. So if you like jalebis, then you should hit subscribe to this podcast. Oh, and follow us on social media too. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Follow us, eat jalebis, be happy.